A Texas man federally charged with assaulting Capitol Police officers during the January 6th insurrection is running for office as a Republican. Mark Middleton is filed to run for the newly redrawn House District 68, which stretches from North Texas to Lampasas. His campaign claims, quote, Texans deserve real conservative patriots in Austin. Now, Middleton has used the word patriot many times, including on several social media posts the week of the Capitol riot, where he bragged about fighting with police. He talked about patriots storming the Capitol and how he and his wife were forced to retreat when they were pepper sprayed. Here to talk about this is Glenn Smith from Progress Texas and former Texas GOP chairman James Dickey. Thank you both for being here. Sure. Thank, thank you. you. James, how concerned are you that a riot suspect charged with assaulting Capitol Police is running as a Texas Republican? Well, one of the important things to know is the way Texas law is written, the, no one, uh, uh, anyone who meets the bare minimum requirements of filing for office is allowed to file for office. And in this case, it's uh, pay a small fee, have lived in the district for a certain amount of time and be a resident of Texas. And there's really no other requirements that anyone can apply, including the party. But what are your thoughts on that, that he's running as a Republican? Well, the only solution to it would be to allow the party or to allow someone else to put additional requirements on running for office that aren't in Texas law. And the problem with that is that becomes a very slippery slope. You end up with uh, smoke filled back rooms deciding who gets to run for office and who doesn't. And so while obviously someone running for office with all sorts of things on their record or in their past is unfortunate it and, and is a thing that we have to deal with under the current scenario, any potential solution would be worse. Glenn, what does a radicalized candidate running as a Republican say about the situation, the state of affairs right now? Well, you know, I don't think I have too much sway with Republican primary voters these days, but I do think there's another solution than James mentioned, and that is they got to beat this guy at the polls. If the heart and soul of what it means to be a Republican is at stake in this election, and it certainly is, because you have basically a, a violent insurrectionist running against an incumbent Republican State House member, I mean, it's up to the Republicans to step up and repudiate this candidacy. And I think they might well do that. Now, I'll tell you something interesting to watch for, however, is what will Donald Trump do? Certainly, this candidate will make sure Trump knows he's running, that he was part of the crowd that stormed the Capitol on behalf of Trump. So what will Trump do in this race? In fact, the race may hinge on that, actually. Uh, James, if Trump does back this guy, how will the Texas GOP handle that? Well, they will leave it up to the voters as they do. And the voters tend to get things right. Not not always. I mean, there have been surprise candidates with weird backgrounds who've been able to win sometimes. But the, the reality is the voters of Texas make good choices the vast majority of the time. And in fact, because of good Republican policies, they've made the right choices statewide for decade after decade in the last 30 years. And I'm sure that they'll continue to do so going Going forward. And if this guy is eventually convicted, then, you know, it's a moot point. He can't run. Um, Glenn, final thought here. Well, I, you know, I just want to say that it's 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 kind of a tragedy, really, that we have a fellow like this who actually like attacked Capitol Police. I want to repeat that attacked Capitol Police. You know, the Republicans claim to be the sort of like law and order party. But a guy like this running as a Republican repudiates that claim. And so I think, once again, it's up to Republicans to toss him from the uh, toss him from the party. I mean, it's ridiculous to be running, you know, with a violent radical like this. All right. Glenn, James, thank you both for sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.